right, let's get this party started. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening to all of the big timers, whale members, as well as all of the elitists that decide to join the stream today. This is Whale D Shark, and I am excited to bring you another edition of Journey to the Unique. Uh, for those of you who are tuning in for the first time, I go by the handle Whale D Shark, previously known as Whale Shark and Whale Shark Eve. Uh, it's just a real thrill to be able to be playing this game with all of you guys today. This is one of three different program segments uh, that I actually do, whereby I'm documenting and writing this epic journey with big time, trying to gather those hourglasses and finally actually craft a unique, right? The other two program segments that I have running are one of them is called... Uh, smoking Cracked Hourglasses, which we did late last night, which was a bunch of fun, uh, where we go through this maze of a metaverse, right? Just understanding, you know, how many Cracked Hourglasses drop, dismantling them for big time and having a good time while we're doing it. The third and probably most popular segment that I've developed over the last couple of days is the big experiment, uh, the short form for the big time economic experiment, where I get off my high horse, I take $5,000 out of my own pocket, and I decide to try and see whether or not it's possible to generate $1,000 in income, right? $1,000 in income every week. So every single one of these streams is a journey. I'm so grateful to have all of you guys with me. Uh, and, you know, it, it, it's just a wonderful time to be in Web3 Gaming, right? People can actually play, they can actually actually play to earn, and they can actually play something good. Uh, huge shout out to the people who are chatting in my stream just now. I think you guys, I'm only going to be streaming to Twitter because I did want you guys to see the chat running on the screen. Uh, but a huge shout out to everyone that came in chat. Uh, just a huge shout out to Foking Stupid and, sent, and Odin Dude, long time no see. Hope all's been well with you. Alan, howdy, howdy, howdy. Uh, I hope all you guys are doing well and you guys have been keeping safe as well as well over this current bear market. Uh, now again, I'm, I'm not a uh, professional streamer. I haven't done streaming for a very long time. Um, so if I do transition to a different topic and you guys aren't seeing the graphics on screen, <laughs> Feel free to give this old man a kick in the head and let me know in chat if you're not uh, seeing on screen what I'm actually talking about, all right? So, you know, there's, I wanna say there's, there's probably about three things I wanna do today, right? So everyone, all of the NFT OGs know me as the list man. Uh, one of the NFT OGs, Rizzle, uh, who did a bunch of interviews with me in the beginning, you know, always seemed to think how I said, you know, there are three things, there are five things. Here's the list, one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Right. Uh, so I'm known as a list man. So, you know, whenever we start these streams, I always like to set the agenda uh, by letting you guys understand and know what we're going to do today. So the first thing we're going to do is I made a major announcement yesterday whereby and I know I'm quite sure this hasn't been done because I haven't seen it on any of the big time uh, streamers. But what we'll be doing moving forward is we're going to be trying to give away a common hourglass NFT. Uh, to both followers as well as subscribers, right? Uh, probably most of the time to subscribers. Um, but, you know, again, I do want to make sure that we include everybody in this amazing streams, in, you know, again, this amazing project. So, you know, what I'll try to do is I'll have a good balance and make sure that my subscribers are rewarded uh, for, you know, following me on this journey, being a part of the clan, being a part of the community. And I really look forward to seeing you guys not only benefit from what we talk about as well as on chat, uh, but also... Uh, from the rewards that I will be giving out to my subscribers. So, you know, given that the very first thing that I am going to do is I am going to talk roughly about how we're going to set this up. Um, unlike most uh, streamers, you know, again, I... Oh, wow, that didn't, that didn't turn out well. Uh, hold on one second here, guys. Dude, I think I went into an infinite loop here. <laughs> <laughs> SDFPX, thank you for the follow, my friend. Guys, dude, the infinite loop is real. Hold on one second. Let me just reset. Uh, let me just reset. I'm going to reset to game first, and then after I'll come back to browser. The infinite loop is still there. Um, <laughs> but anyway, so what I am going to talk about before we get onto the game is we're going to do this as follows. So what we did yesterday is I believe I set up, I think, five common time wardens. And, you know, those five common time wardens and Belo Porkmida. Dude, welcome to the chat. Thank you for the follow. 
Uh, again, you know, I'm lucky enough to be in life, you know, not to require donations or anything from this, but, you know, follows and subs are always very much appreciated because it helps the general health of the stream. It helps me unlock features uh, within Twitch where I can give you more emotes, uh, you know, more fun and just more things to do, right? So. For those of you guys who are asking, you know, why is a why is a crypto OG or an NFT OG out here saying, hey, follow and subscribe if you can? It's simply because of the amount of features that it unlocks within Twitch, right? Uh, and I'd love to give you guys as much as possible. Now, given that, uh, I, I do apologize. We are going to look into the infinite browser screen that you guys see above right over here. I think I see a total of four whale sharks, uh, four whale D sharks, but only one is real. Um, but so in order to do this giveaway, so every single stream, what I will do for most streams, we will run marbles. All right. So we will run marbles for subscribers only. I will turn on subscriber chat only so that only subscribers are able to type the exclamation point, uh, play. And then after that, we will give away. Uh, we will give away those, uh, those hourglasses to the subscribers. Now, you know, probably about twice a week, uh, we'll do the same thing for the followers. As well as I understand, not everyone has the means to subscribe, and I do want to make sure that you guys are all included in this. Now, given that I have done my due diligence, and I understand that, for example, in the United States. Uh, it is not possible to do subscriber-only giveaways. Now, given that I do operate outside of the United States, uh, I do operate in countries across Asia, whereby this stream will be governed by the jurisdiction uh, of giveaways for those different markets, all right? So, you know, again, I love to give stuff away. I don't want to risk getting a strike on the channel. Um, so. I am, you know, for all intents and purposes, I am always streaming from outside the United States. Now, given that, I will also need to always clarify before a giveaway that none of these giveaways are being sponsored by Twitch. They are not giving, being sponsored by Open Loot. They are not being sponsored by Big Time. So any of these giveaways are actually only being sponsored individually and personally by myself. All right. So I hope you guys understand. I want to keep this kosher. I want to make sure that uh, we are obeying the terms of service and I don't want to get a strike on the channel, uh, given that I have big plans to hopefully bring everybody in and make sure I reward them not only with knowledge, but also all of the good stuff uh, that I am able to provide. Now, given that that was really the first thing that I want to do and we can move away from this uh, house of madness, right? And we'll jump straight into game over here. There we go. All right. So the remaining two things that I wanted to do with chat today was I wanted to, number one, uh, given that we have a stream later on the big experiment, I just wanted to make sure that all of our time wardens uh, are actually well and prepared for that. So as you guys can see here, I know that, you know, in the previous streams, I had actually, oh, that's another thing that we can do. I can actually show you what has changed since, uh, since we last streamed. But you know, usually when I when I send out the title of the of the stream itself, uh, you know, you guys have always seen seventy nine time wardens. Now, over the last, I want to say, over the last two to three days, I have accumulated. I want to say. Uh, 9 plus 5 is 14, 14 plus 20. I've acquired another 34 time wardens, all right? So essentially what we have now is we have 34 time, uh, 34 plus 79 is math, chat, math. 34 plus 79 uh, is 113. So we are running 113 time wardens at the moment. Uh, it's the biggest that I've seen on stream. I am sure that there are many other people um, who are running this. Uh, Arrows Lago going with the no. Arrows Lago, thank you so much for the sub, my friend. Ohm, my friend, dude, I've known Ohm for such a long time. Thank you so much for the sub as well. I very much greatly appreciate it. Um, we pretty much built out the time factory, right? Um, and I'm gonna take you guys, so why don't we do this first? I'll show you guys what I did earlier today. So, uh, it's not earlier today, but uh, earlier last night. Uh, what I actually did was I started purchasing common time wardens off of the market, uh, given the fact that, you know, I have, uh, and the word isn't du du duplicitous, uh, I have dual usage, right, 
of Time Wardens as we move forward. Now, I'm very well vested in the game and I enjoy playing the game. I enjoy the community. I appreciate the fact that you guys are not mindless drones and sheep uh, who just come in and say, wag me or, or you know, LFG. Uh, I appreciate the fact that everyone on this stream has a good head on their shoulders and they're analyzing the data, watching, learning, discussing, and gaining insights from each other. Um, and you know, buying Time Wardens for me at this point in time, whether that's for a giveaway or whether that's for, uh, you know, actual crafting, uh, you know, that multi-case usage of Time Wardens encouraged me to purchase a bunch more Time Wardens, right? So I have not been killing the market. I think I only bought 20 yesterday and the price is still the same as it was yesterday. And essentially what you see here is I've converted the entire, I've converted the entire Southern Wing uh, to commons, right? Uh, granted that these are all legendary spaces, it's a tiny bit of a waste. Um, but, you know, again, moving forward, what I will do is I might, I might uh, actually fill up this entire hallway. And again, some of those, you know, while I do have my Time Warden farm for the giveaways, uh, we have our Time Warden farm to... Uh, uh, do the uh, experiment project. This is really, you know, again, it's, you know, from a rational perspective, uh, prices dropped from 400 to about $360 per Time Warden. Uh, it gave me an opportunity to accumulate a tiny bit uh, as we move forward so that I'm not reliant on, uh, so that I'm not reliant on the, uh, on the market uh, for my supply of common Time Wardens. And then after that, all of my higher rarity Time Wardens are going to be able to uh, produce what they should should be producing, which is high quality hourglasses. So, guys, I know this is the uh, this is the marathon mile right over here, but you know I, I, we have a lot of spaces to fill up. I will gradually, most likely, fill them up with common time wardens so that we have a true time factory moving forward. Um, you know, the only other person or streamer that I've seen uh, who has a setup like this is uh, Steve Woody, so Undisputed Noobs. Uh, make sure you do give his channel a follow. Um, and sorry, I'm one person here, so it's difficult for me to post any links into chat. But make sure you do give him a follow because again, I very much appreciate people who look at the data, people who look at the information, people who draw insights from the analysis and are then able to actually act. Uh, intelligently uh, in, and in a profitable manner. So he's a guy right after my own heart. So as you guys can see, we have tons of common time wardens. You know, I could probably add on another 20. Um, and eventually what you guys will see is, uh, you know, 200 plus time warden factory uh, in your notifications whenever I go live. But for the time being, you know, I think we're at 113. Let's keep it. Let's keep it at 113. Langa, thank you so much, my friend, for posting that up. Uh, so that's Undisputed Noobs. Uh, he has a beautiful channel, um, and we are, and we're definitely going to be communicating significantly more with them as we go through our journey to the unique hourglass. Now, given that, the second thing I wanted to do with you guys is I wanted to make sure that all of our hourglasses were ready uh, for stream later today or when we do a stream on. Uh, the big experiment, right? So we're just gonna pop in here and just make sure that everything is running smoothly. I have not touched anything. Uh, I will update the spreadsheet with, uh, with data uh, before we do this, but in total, what we're looking at is seven hours and 26 minutes. So it is 12, 14 p.m. right now, uh, seven hours and 26 minutes. That would actually put us at uh, 7.40. So it's, it's right on time. We are streaming at 8 p.m. GMT later today with the big experiment. For those, for those big brain people uh, in the chat or for those who just want a headache, uh, make sure you feel free to stop in into that stream. And what we are going to do is, you know, collectively we'll, we'll look at the market, we'll discuss, you know, what's going on, and we'll decide what to do with all of these hourglasses that actually get crafted. So, yeah, I mean, as I'm looking through this, and let me just look through the second room just to make sure that we're all right. What we might do as well, um, you know, if we do decide to buy more, if we do decide to buy more, oh, six hours, that's beautiful. Um, if we do decide to buy more Time Wardens, I might front the money first and update the sheets later. Um, you know, just given the fact that there will be some time lag due to the liquidity of the market. Um, but, you know, based on a common level, you know, most of these things are actually flying off uh, every one or two minutes. Oh, Alan, uh, dude, don't worry. I'll, I'll make sure we do a really nice, we'll do a really nice, um, 
we'll do a really nice VOD for you, right? We'll have a really nice stream so that you're gonna be able to watch that whenever you want, yeah? Um, all right, uh, also making sure, and I, I, I know I, I, I did a thanks earlier on, but again, just thank you to Ohm as well as Aros Lago for the sub. Um, I very much appreciate it. The very first time that we are going to be um, doing marbles, most likely will be on a Friday. Now, I don't want my subscribers to miss out on the giveaway. So, you know, again, as we move through this, and I do ask for everyone's patience because this is really the very first time I'm doing giveaways on Twitch, uh, we will find a manner in terms whereby subscribers are able to participate uh, in the raffles without being online all the time, right? Because I understand, again, we all live all over the world. We have different time zones. Uh, it might be a little bit difficult. And, you know, if you guys are watching my map in the right-hand side of this, you'll see that we have a bunch of time wardens that are ready to go. So hopefully we get hopefully we get some, some, some rares. Maybe we'll get an epic. Uh, I'm not sure. So guys, uh, I highlighted this yesterday, but you know, again, you're asking, you know, everyone is giving a dollar, giving away $2, giving away codes. You know, Whale Shark, how are you gonna be able to give us actual NFTs and actual hourglasses, right? So, <coughs> excuse me. So essentially what I've done uh, is I have built out this space dedicated to my followers, dedicated to my subscribers, dedicated to chat, uh, whereby I will be crafting hourglasses just specific, you know, for the streams itself. And as you can see, we have five different Time Wardens running at, at the moment. Um, I guess what we're going to have to do, and hold on here, let me just see. You know, it's one day and six minutes. So essentially what you're looking at is a stream on Friday where we just give out hourglasses. You know, potentially what we could do, and this could be pretty fun. I don't know if I'm gonna put it in the big time category itself. Um, I should because it's related to big time, even though we're not going to be playing big time. Um, you know, maybe just take all of these hourglasses and, you know, do, you know, maybe three, maybe three, three runs, three marble runs for the followers and, and, and two marble runs specific to subs, right? There's a bunch of ways we can play this. Again, I want you guys to get things out of the stream. Um, you guys are kind enough to give me your eyeballs, to give me your ears, and I do want to make sure that I'm paying you back in kind, all right? Uh, A-Town Gaming, dude, welcome to the chat. Thank you so much for following me. I really do appreciate it. All of you guys, I mean, this is, this is what actually makes streaming fun. Uh, all of you guys in chat. Uh, by the way, if you guys do have any questions pertaining to big time, uh, Chief, that includes you, and for those of you guys who don't know, we have a chief, uh, a founder of AxiGG, uh, one of the largest esports professional esports teams in Axie itself. Um, you know, it, it's, it's just an honor to be connecting with him again. <laughs> Crazy then, dude, uh, dude, thank you so much for rating the channel. I, I do appreciate that. <laughs> <laughs> Much appreciated, my friend. So, guys, for you guys who are just coming in, this is a 100-plus strong Time Warden, Time Factory sweatshop. And what we're doing is we're actually going in and we're... Uh we're, we're doing some sweatshop work here, guys. Uh, we have uh, we have all of our Time Wardens um, running out on commons as well as others. Now, again, this is the main part of the factory. And, you know, I've said this many times, but my main focus when I'm looking at this main part of the factory is making sure that we're getting as much XP as possible because this is not... Um, and just let me just make sure that... Oh, there we go. We can upgrade to next level. What up, Duva? What up, what up, bro? All right. Uh, so, you know, my main thing here is that I want to get as much EXP as possible, right? Uh, because, you know, they craft faster, they have better luck, they have more bonus rolls. So, you know, you'll see me spend an exorbitant amount of money uh, on making sure that I get the rolls that I want. And the rolls that I want is definitely not 30 minutes more. Uh, in an ideal situation is plus 50 XP, plus 50 XP, right? That's what I'm looking for because I do want to make sure uh, that I'm getting the most out of time. Guys, it is so ironic and yet such a wonderful metaphor uh, when you look at big time. You know, at the end of the day, time is the only one thing that we can't buy with money, right? But, you know, within the scope of this game itself, yeah, I, I guess we're using mod chips to buy time. 
Yes, level 10 is key for the third bonus slot. Krasizan, dude, thank you so much again for raiding. By the way, do you have any, have you, have you, do you know of anybody or have you seen anybody with a level 10 yet? So we spent essentially four mod chips. I think 20 mod chips is about a dollar. So we probably spent about 40, of, about, sorry, about $4 just on this spin itself, right? And you'll see us do it multiple times, uh, which is why I hold a large amount of ingredients. Uh, you guys can see that I have 2.54 million uh, time crystals, all bought from the market, uh, or all bought directly from Big Time Studios. Big Time Studios, you can thank me later. Um, but just making sure that we have enough resources to do, to do what I'm trying to accomplish to do here. So, you know, we're going to come in here and we're going to go through these transcendent. I have a total of eight transcendent time wardens, right? This is the highest level that you can potentially buy on the market, uh, bar a unique, right? So bar really a unique, um, uh, Duva asking, what do you expect about Exalted Spaces, bro? I want to know what a whale shark thinks about it. Dude, I have a lot of Exalted Spaces. <laughs> uh, I think, again, it depends on what your, it depends on what your economic game is, right? Uh, the reasons why you would buy an Exalted Space is because you want to craft, um, it's because you want to craft, uh, you know, Exalted and above, um, whether that be gear or NFTs, right? You want to craft above that. Now, you know, is the price exorbitant? Absolutely. Um, I was just fortunate enough to enter the game at a point in time, and this was a couple of years ago, uh, whereby, you know, again, the, 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 the spaces were actually at price, price interestingly, right? So that's the reason why on this wing itself, all you will see is exalted and mythic spaces. So there's only two reasons why you would do it. The first reason why you would do it is because, you know, you want to attach some exalted, exotic, and some transcendent, um, uh, sorry, guys, just to explain why I did that just now, it's because it's value, right? I got 25% time crystals off, uh, and 25% times 250 is going to be uh, 62.5, and it only took me 20 to roll, right? So, you know, that's the reason why I did that. Uh, the second reason why you would get Transcendent Time Wardens, and again, it's been nerfed, uh, sorry, not Transcendent, sorry, um, why you would buy um, Exalted Spaces is because of the drops. Everything that you see here, guys, is, is, it, is an Exalted Space, right? And every single time there's a Cracked Hourglass drop, I'm almost guaranteed to see a purple, right? I'm almost guaranteed to see a, uh, to see a not exotic, um, you know, I, I'm almost guaranteed to see, you know, a, a purple cracked hourglass, which again has significantly more amount of luck than any of the other, uh, uh, any of the other uh, hourglasses. So that's the reason why I do that. Uh, Duva also, you know, I don't play the, I don't play the lower end game. The reason being is that anything that is on the lower end game, eventually what you're going to see is that it's going to be commoditized. Uh, we did the calculations with Woody, uh, with Steve um, a couple of days ago. The cost to produce a common hourglass, I believe was like $1.78 or something like that. Um, so, you know, at a point in time where common time wardens are a sunk cost, essentially the price of a common hourglass can dip as low as probably like $2, $2.50. Uh, so, you know, again, the prices that you see right now, and I haven't been looking at the prices because I've been busy trying to get everything set up. and. Dude, that is exactly what we want to see. 100% XP, we're going on a rare. So, you know, there's going to be double XP on the rare and this is a transcendent uh, time warden. So this is exactly, this is exactly what we want to see. Duva, I have not been able, oh, sorry, dude. I have not been able to see uh, or pick up a legendary hourglass so far, a cracked one, right? I don't think I've even made it to uh, legendary hourglass crafting yet, and you know I'm running this many out, this many time wardens. Uh, it's surprising that I haven't gotten there yet, but again, it, it, it takes a lot of work to get to where we want to be. You know, at, at some point in time, yeah, there we go, nice. Uh, hopefully, I'll be able to show you guys some of the uh, uh, some of. Uh, some of the time wardens that eventually make it to level 10. So we're going to do a rare here. This is a perfect situation. We have enough uncommons to do this. We can craft a rare that's high XP and we're going to go broke or nothing at all in terms of trying to get 100 XP here. 
All right, so let's do this first. And then after that, while we're doing it, I'll, I'll return to chat. Uh, so what's the max number of slots? Dude, based on, based on the way that this is spaced, I would say five? Four or five is probably the max number of slots. And oh, 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 that is beautiful. That is beautiful. No, don't give me two triple adjacents. No quad left, 50% actually, there we go, guys. RNG rewarding, rewarded. So that's 150 XP on a rare hourglass. Uh, dude, that's a lot of XP. Thank you so much, Aris Lago. It is so hard to get this sometimes, the triple adjacent, but Dude, imagine when we have three slots and we get a triple adjacent. You're looking at 300% XP, right? Noise, noise. Dude, uh, it just shows you guys, you know, what a dweeb I am. I get excited about getting more XP. Uh, guys, I, 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 I'm way too old for this. <laughs> All right, so now we're moving on to the exotics uh, and we have three exotics that are ready to spin. I don't have as many exotics as I would like. Uh, but again, they're they're doing exotics are doing what exotics are doing. Zaldi Nation, yo yo yo, dude, nine thousand workshop XP. That's nothing to that's nothing to laugh at, guys. Let's see this. Poking stupid saying. At first, I thought the EXP uh, meant that your characters get more when you wear your hourglass. <laughs> LOL. Dude, it's understandable. It's absolutely understandable. Um, you know, one of the things that I would love to see is, again, you know, while I'm not playing traditionally like most of the streamers that you see up here, uh, again, I suck at games, dude. I mean, beyond Pokemon, Pokemon Unite, uh, I don't think I've aced the game. Uh, in the last, you know, Pokemon Unite and Diablo 4. Uh, beyond those two games, I haven't aced the game in, in over a decade, right? Um, but, you know, given that, uh, I would like to start playing at some point in time. Uh, I know we're always getting a lot of new viewers. I know that a lot of the viewers from Whale as well as Elite are also coming in. Um, and they're coming out of their rabbit hole. They're coming out of their little rabbit hole uh, and understanding that, hey, there, there's actually a potential AAA title. Um, and so, you know, at some point in time, I'll probably start playing uh, start playing uh, with the team and, and with you guys. I mean, I'd love to. I'm a level 10, right? So, uh, sorry, I can carry you guys in, in, in terms of sharing the knowledge, but you guys are going to have to carry me on the battlefield. All right, there we go. That was an ideal spin, but we're going to take it anyway. 60%, again, 60%, nothing to laugh at. I mean, it could be worse, right? Uh, we could get the, uh, I think we got it yesterday. We got like two multipliers and, you know, two times nothing is nothing. So that was a little bit embarrassing. Uh, Crypto Gamer, yo, 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 what's up? How are you doing? GGOX, dude, thank you so much for the cheer, my friend. Very much appreciated. Um, Duba saying, bro, we got a Stepwalker group on Discord. Let me know if you want to be a part of it. Uh, absolutely. At some point in time when I actually start playing the game, and again, I'm, I'm level 10, so I played a bit. And about, I want to say about probably one and a half years ago, uh, I played uh, I played up to level 22 or 23, I think. Um, you know, before before they before uh, you know before more pressing issues uh, decided to overtake themselves. So, oh dude, don't get don't please uh, no no double horizontal in like you know 60 minutes. We'll take the extra output. I've actually, after all, dude, 20% is not going to cut it. Uh, I have actually gotten the extra output once. Now, whether or not I got the extra output, uh, I don't know. Alan coming down with the knowledge. Dude, that's what we want to see. 100%. 100%. Dude, you guys are bringing me luck. For some reason, my RNG is on point today. Thank you so much, guys. I think I gotta take you all. I think I gotta take you all to Vegas, and you guys gotta blow up my dice. One second. <laughs> Streamer luck. <laughs> all right. Let's see. Hold on. We're almost there. So Alan dropping the knowledge saying transcendent max level is fifty, and you get seven bonus slots. Dude, can you imagine how fucking crazy it would be to have seven bonus slots? Dude, how would it not be possible to spend like a bunch of mod chips and not get a unique if you get if you get a transcendent to level uh, to level fifty? How insane would that be? I, I think 
I think just to get there, or just to like give us an extra boost in the next uh, crack, uh, smoking cracked hourglasses, we need to go to each transcendent and just you know, regardless of the cost, just dismantle the shit out of everything. And hold on, let's do this, and after I can take a look at how many cracked hourglasses I have, because again, I'm not interested in the token at the time being. Uh, the reason why is because it's so young. I mean, it can go north, it can go south, it can go upside my mother, right? And it's, it's not gonna work. Um, so, you know, I'm really interested in the core competencies of the game, which is AX, uh, which is XP. With seven bonus slots, you will be like Satoru Gojo. <laughs> Dude, I will. I would. I will be like a. If seven slots, I will be like a mesh between between Monkey D, Luffy, Go, uh, Gojo, and Goku at the same time, my friend. I will. I will be. I, it will be the 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 the, seven, the eight transcendent wardens uh, that I'll have will be the end all and be all of everything. <laughs> Can you imagine getting that skip rarity and after that and then after that double um, double output? <laughs> There can only be one. <laughs> oh, dude. Uh, looks like the RNG luck is running out a tiny bit. Uh, I, dude, is it just me or are these rolls like moving, moving at a tortoise pace today? Let's see. 10 more minutes, 30 more minutes. Dude, I mean, any other person who was selling on the market would be just absolutely fucking happy to get an additional 40 minutes, right? I think there's a 120 minute slot that I passed up as well before. 10 and a 10. Guys, <clears throat> let's, let's try one more and let's try one more. And if we don't get XP, we'll just go for whatever, whatever, you know, whatever XP decides to come our way. 50, please. Nope. Guys, I don't think we're going to get this one. <laughs> the slot is your favorite, fucking stupid. I think you and I both have a problem. Uh, if, if slots on this, dude, look at that, dude. What a waste, what an absolute waste. I think if slots are the most, um, I think if slots are the most fun part of this game or they're our favorites, uh, I think Big Time might have a problem as a game and I think you and I might have a problem where we need to go to a support group. <laughs> Dude. Aroslago, you want those 120 minutes? Dude, you know, what could be pretty cool? Like, oh, why am I, why do I keep missing that XP? All right, dude, we're just gonna take it. At this point in time, I've gone so deep down the, uh, down the roll rabbit hole uh, that we're not gonna make anything out of it. Uh, but anyway, we'll take what we can get. Dude, what could be pretty cool is um, I could actually roll. Uh, I could actually one roll the uh, the the, the sub rewards, right? I, I can't. Again, I, I want to make sure that I have a constant supply um, of, uh, of 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 hourglasses to give you guys. So I'm not going to be able to charge them. Uh, but what I can definitely, dude, 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 guys, guys, ring the bell, ring the bell. It's another epic. It's another epic hourglass. How how much are epic hourglasses going on the market right now? They were like a thousand before, right? And hold on, let me just let me just finish the craft here. Let's see how much XP we get. And I just want to double check the market. 10,000. 10,000 workshop XP. Dude, we just literally minted $1,500. Fucking stupid. Thank you so much uh, for providing that information. Um, dude, $1,500. Is it possible to play and earn? Yes, in this current market situation. You know, is is it is it going to um, is it going to 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 persist? I certainly hope so. I was actually more thrilled to see the uh, the XP, um, but let's see, let's see. <laughs> Let me some epic for tokens. I heard it drop so much, guys. You know, I I have something up there. Um, if you guys are unaware, there is a community challenge, and again, I think we're a little bit too late. Uh, but I do have a community challenge whereby I will raffle off a rare hourglass uh, to the group. Um, you know, it, it requires a bunch of uh, community points, and my points are called Amber Grease, right? Uh, but if you guys do want to see me raffle off, um, I guess uh, to subs only, uh, a raffle off, oh, it can be for everyone. I mean, it, it, it's a total raffle, right? Everyone has points. If you do want to see me raffle off an epic to one of you, 
Um, you know, again, feel free to look at my community challenges. I think, you know, we're a little bit too early uh, in the game to be able to have enough people to be able to do it. Uh, but at some point in time, I would love to I would love to give one of you guys an epic hourglass, right? Whether whether I buy that direct from the market or not. So just so you guys know, I've been doing this for about 10 days now. And this is as far as I've gotten to be able to mint a legendary, right? Um, you know, it's been it's been it's been insanely hard um, to get uh, to get there. Um, I I really don't mind, right? Uh, Arozago saying, "What about streaming an epic prestige with epic hourglass?" Uh, ha has any have you guys seen that on stream? Have you guys seen that on stream yet? How about how about how about? Uh, streaming a prestige dungeon with four epic hour classes. <laughs> Have you guys seen that on stream before? Nope, not yet. <laughs> I don't mind. I mean, again, I can I can equip it and I can dismantle it at the end. Um, all right. Uh, why don't we do this? When we get close again, I I I I, I just refuse to uh, to. Um, I mean, it's difficult for me to run solo and to and to level up as quickly as possible to to do some of these prestige dungeons. Uh, quick question, again, uh, what is the what is the minimum level to run a prestige dungeon? All right, we got our fifty percent. Uh, what happens to one second? Uh. What? Uh, sorry, one second. I think Lang Langa had a question. So sixty plus ten. Let's try one more time. Let's see here. So, bro, how much luck rate the hourglass exotic has? So Duva, what I'm gonna do is I am going to check for you in a tiny bit. Uh, I can actually see it from my time wardens. Uh, I saw that there was a question with points, right? So what happens when you run out of points? Uh, so essentially, what happens when you run out of points on stream is that for every hour that you watch my streams, uh, you get 220 amber grease, right? I think this, whoa, dude, what happened? Dude, what was that? Did I just lose? <laughs> Did I just lose a bunch of a bunch of rolls? Uh oh, uh oh. <laughs> Mom, I think we broke big time. <laughs> So what we're going to do here is if it doesn't roll and if I can't control it, uh, what I'll do is I'm going to switch to chat and then after that I'm going to try try log in. Damn it, DC. Is DC here? <laughs> mom, dad, I, 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 mom, dad, I broke, I broke big time. <laughs> All right. Anyway, I do want to give a huge shout out to Xerox Wells as well. Thank you for the follow. Uh, very much appreciate every single one of you who decides to get in the stream here with me. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to move it to, uh, why don't I move it to the chatting screen? And then after that, I will re-log into this. I do have to end it, right? I do have to not end it, not end the stream, but I have to end, uh, I have to end the program. Uh, and then after that, what we're going to do, and rather than sitting here in the abyss, right? Uh, I'm going to set it to chatting. And after that, you know, we can just hang out and chill out for a bit uh, while I get this sorted out. Um, dude, I think that's like the second time. That's the second time that's happened to me. Like, I'm really not sure. I'm really not sure. I, I think those points go back to you, right? Uh, because if I do, um, if I do, uh, if I do close out something usually, and you guys are like subscribing to it, I, I think it, I think it returns the points back. One second here, guys. So we're gonna log into a medium, right? I found I found the Goldilocks approach is the best towards servers at the moment. So I never go for the low, I never go for the high, I go for the medium. Um, so the Goldilocks approach has worked significantly well for me um, as I try to get this sorted out. But we're back in game. I'm naked and afraid. Let me let me see here. One second. Let's bring back game again. There we go, guys. I'm naked and afraid. Uh, I have no gold, I have no big time token, and I have no uh, time crystals. 
Martinez Lou, yo, what's up, my friend? Thank you so much for the follow. I, I saw that you followed me actually while I was asleep. Uh, thank you so much for the follow. I very much appreciate it. In addition to that, you know, what I really have to do is also thank two people who actually subscribed to me uh, while I was asleep. I have to give a huge shout out and thanks to Triple Gary. Meow. All right, Triple Gary, thank you so much for the sub. Uh, and I also have to thank uh, DJ Mr. Best. Uh, again, I really do appreciate you guys, and I really do appreciate uh, all of all of the wonderful things that you guys are bringing to the community. Uh, hello, IJPP, uh, IJP underscore P. Welcome to the chat. Welcome to the community. Thank you so much for the follow, my friend. So we're gonna hop into the metaverse dungeon, and we're gonna make sure that we can uh, we can finish this up. Again, a reminder for all of you guys, you know, I don't accept donations within stream, even though my Ethereum address is probably pretty well known within the space. Um, you know, I wish I could do Twitch at its full potential uh, without subscribers. You know, I, I, I would love to only have followers. Um, but for me, the main thing is as this channel continues to grow, as the content continues to grow, the main thing that I'm looking for is unlocking all of those features that Twitch has so I can give you guys more fun stuff to do. Right, so I really do appreciate that. Nightmare dude coming in clutch. Thank you so much. Uh, gifting out five community subs. I very much appreciate that, guys. Uh, Nightmare dude, dude, dude. Thank you. I, I'm 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 lost for words. Thank you so much. Uh, you know, one of the things that I'm going to be giving the subscribers uh, moving forward is we're going to play subscriber only marbles. So we will have follower marbles, but we will also have subscriber only marbles. And in that sort of a scenario, you know, the winner of the marbles game will be getting a free common hourglass. All right. Uh, so we're definitely going to do that. Nightmare, thank you so much again, bro. I'm blown away. Right, I'm totally blown away. Um, and you know, for all of you guys who now do have a tier one sub, you guys are going to be able to participate uh, in the subscriber subscriber only marble session. Again, when we do run these, I'll probably run a total follower session, uh, maybe twice a week, and then after that, the subscriber only uh, the subscriber only model uh, or giveaway will happen much more frequently. All right. Thank you so much, bro. I, I, I appreciate it. Uh, we're almost hitting our, our sub goal here so that I can unlock a few more emote, sli emote slots uh, that allow you guys to do more stuff. All right, no longer naked, no longer broke, hopefully. I know, uh, now, now just broke. <laughs> now I'm just broke. <laughs> we gotta wait for this to. We gotta wait for. We gotta wait for my uh, for my for my time to for my time crystals to reload uh, before I can hop in and start doing stuff. Uh, I see my gold reloaded, and there we go. We're off to the races again. So I'm gonna bring up my large map. And for those of you guys who are running through a maze of a large map, and you guys are using the tiny map at the top. You know, guys, uh, just press M, and then after that, what you'll see is you'll see this huge map pop up, and you're gonna be able to do that. <laughs> hamster, hamster, hamster. Like, let's see here, hold on one second. We're gonna get there. So, in case you guys are curious, you know, this entire main part of the factory is about one point, I want to say 1.7 kilometers long. Um, so, you know, that's why I get to stream, right? Uh, because it allows me to do stuff. It allows me to answer any of the questions that you guys might have. Uh, and it allows us to have just a fun time, right? I'm here for the funsies. Absolutely just here for the funsies. And look, I, I mean, I can't wait till um, I can't wait till uh, till the NFT bull run comes again. And I'm quite sure, you know, just based on observation experience, uh, you know, I, I'd be very happy if Web3 Gaming led the charge. Right. Uh, it's a fantastic game. It's a fantastic community. At the end of the day, at the end of the day, though, um, you know, you still have those people who are mainly focused on their investment. And I mean, honestly, dude, it's, it's called play big time right it's, it's a big time game it's not it's not invest in big time aros lago saying i want to be a whale someday i'll read a book named how to be a whale if you have two words on it get money 80 pages <laughs> guys i mean if you guys are oh there we go triple adjacent let's get a 50 let's go let's go um 
You know, if you guys are interested in how to become a whale, you know, I tried to share my knowledge as much as I could during the last bull cycle. Um, unfortunately, you know, some of the things that I had to say really got drowned out by uh, the people who are trying to say, this is how you become a whale in one day, right? Um, oh, yes. Uh, oh, Langa, I, if, if it was the quadruple, I would definitely be looking for that. Uh, but let's try, let's try a couple more times here. Let's see if we can get 50%. And let's hopefully not break this again. Um, you know, I shared, a, I, I shared a lot of knowledge through the interviews. Uh, and I mean, if you guys do search Whale Shark NFT on Twitter, uh, or sorry, not on Twitter, on Google, uh, you'll see a lot of my past interviews where I tried to talk some sense and rationality uh, into the NFT community. And it's probably also the main reason why I left um, because the NFT community just became so freaking toxic, right? They became so freaking toxic and greedy. Uh, you know, again, and I can understand if you've taken out loans, if you've taken liability and you're about to lose your pants, right? I can understand the desperation, um, you know, but for me, it just really wasn't the place to be anymore, right? You had a small minority of NFT Twitter being rational, being kind. And then after that, you had the 99% that were just raging in terms of why, we, why, why their bags hadn't 10X'd, right? So, you know, you know, it, it was, you know, that was the main reason why I left NFT Twitter. And if you guys follow me on Twitter, you know, again, appreciate it, um, but I, I don't use it. I refuse to use it. Uh, I refuse to use it because of the nature of the NFT communities that just want to pump PFPs. And I refuse to use it simply because of the, uh, I would guess, hypocrisy. I would say hypocrisy that the new leadership has uh, implemented within the platform. And, you know, again, maybe I'm lucky enough to be able to do that and say, I don't want a social media following. Um, but yeah, and I know for some people they're relying on it, but you know, for me, I, I just, I just, I just can't do that. It says on screen with yellow square. <laughs> uh, also want to say a huge shout out to Cyrus L666. Thank you so much for the follow, my friend. Welcome to the Whale D Shark community. Welcome to the Whale community. Um, and welcome to Big Time. We're going to craft these over here. <laughs> you broke my dreams. <laughs> For all the whale mods present, you know, the big time community really reminds me of what NFT, the NFT community used to be back in the day, right? Everybody was helpful. Everybody, you know, it wasn't about the money because nobody knew that NFTs were going to be a thing, right? I remember just buying like horde loads of art, you know, just saying, you know, it doesn't matter whether it becomes financially feasible. Uh, I just enjoy having cool art and hang that on my walls. hold my spaces and time borders so I can't see that myself. <laughs> oh dear, dude. I, I, did you, uh, uh, did you make, did uh, you, you and Ohm are like uh, secret, secret time warden millionaires. All right. So someone had a question in terms of they want to know what the luck rate was. It was 184. Uh, you know, when you look at this, honestly speaking, you know, the only thing that makes sense that's interesting for me uh, is the exalted uh, big luck time rate because you can see it jumps from 322 to 540 and it jumps intermittently as you go up the rarity scale. So, you know, again, I, I, I think, you know, it, it would be awesome to rock an epic, uh, but it'd be even more epic uh, to, sorry, it will be even more epic to rock an exalted, right? All right, guys, here, we're approaching one hour on stream, so we are going to make sure that we get these things tied up. Uh, but as you guys can see, I think from my mythic time wardens over there, we are going to have quite the time. Fucking stupid, yeah, it, it, I, I agree with you. I, I mean, I know this is still in early days and they're going to nerf a bunch of things, right? You know, I, you know, the optimist in me wants to say that, you know, the team is going to do everything they can do to make sure that people earn as much as they can. Uh, but the realist in me thinks, right? Um, you know, they are going to nerf a lot of things. They're going to nerf a lot of things. I really do think that this is really as good as it gets at this point in time. Uh, I mean, what sort of NFT generating or minting asset can you have? And regardless of what you buy, you're breaking even in, in two months, right? That's that's ridiculous. That's ridiculous. <laughs> Duva, Duva magazine. <laughs> 
Nightmare saying, my problem is I keep buying gaming assets and just casually playing now and then and not trying to monetize. Dude, I think, again, I, I think that's, that's, that's what it should be, right? That's absolutely what it should be. And, you know, I enjoy, I enjoy playing the game in this manner. Uh, it just so happens to be that, you know, you can, dude, dude, quad left. Does it mean we need to get, dude, 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 quad left, quad left. Does, does it, okay, so I saw, I saw some questions in the space just now. So quad left, if I get 25%, does that mean I can do 100? Can I get an instant hourglass? And hold on, let me just read this through the, uh, read this through the chat. Uh, purple, no multiplier, yellows. All right, so we can't, it's not a yellow, right? It's not a yellow. Uh, Epic doesn't boost the 20, 200%, 25 times four is, yes, that's 200%, right? But if I got, if I got a, a, a 25% uh, quicker mint, is that, that's a green, right? Is, is the 25% a green, a, a blue or a yellow? Oh, gold gold bonuses are unaffected by multipliers. Put on or add it up and applied. It's a yellow. All right, so I, I guess this is as good as it's going to get. I would have loved to have seen like an instant one. 25%, no, 25% is green, dude. 25% is green. You know, God damn it. I made a commitment to this chat that said whenever we get a quad left, we are going to try go for the instant hourglass, right? Chat, you know, keep me honest. Did I say that? Did I did I tell you guys that whenever we get a quad left, I am going to go for the I am going to go for the instant hourglass at least ten times. Uh, fucking stu uh, one second. Ten spins. Ten spins. Uh, so twenty five percent is green. What you want? I want an instant hourglass. I want to honor my. Uh, there's no 25% for our glass crafting at the moment. All right, so I, I guess we don't have it. Sh shall we? Shall we be idiots and just spin it anyway? Or is this is is this is this as good as it gets? Chat, guide me. <laughs> dude, dude, the nightmare is like do it. My mods are my mods are like. Uh, all right, yeah, okay, so we're gonna lock the quad left. All right. Uh, we're gonna lock. We're gonna lock the quad left. So we've locked the quad left. Craft it. Take the two hundred. Ggox. Ggox. Uh, Gogx. Dude. By the way, it was the very first time that I went and took a look. Uh, it, it's the very first time that we took. It's just a common. It's it's just a common, dude. So I I, I think if we want to do it, we can do it, right? <laughs> it's a common. Uh, by the way, so it was the very first time that I actually even took a look and understood what the big time leaderboard was yesterday. GGOX, dude, you are a legend. Jesus Christ, how much do you play? <laughs> dude, it's only a legend. Uh, and, and let's let's uh, let's take the uh, let's take the um, let's take the uh, the gambler mentality here. <laughs> <laughs> Chat trying to keep me honest. Run for three slots. Oh, all right, my friend. Okay. All right. Uh, so we kept the three slots. It's only a common, but we'll run for the three slots before we try to do an instant hourglass again. Can you imagine when we get three slots and we go for a... Um, and then after that, what happens if we run for three slots and we get the triple on each side? And on one side, we have 25% speed. And on the other side, we get like a 50% EXP. That'd be freaking epic, guys. Dude, the action on seven slots must be freaking crazy. Uh, I gotta start. I gotta start like a meme, doing it for the slots. <laughs> Sorry, I, I I have a <laughs> I have a unique sense of humor. <laughs> Jaya, bro, how are you doing, man? Uh, we're 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 dealing with a gambling addiction here, guys. And guys, if you don't know Jaya, you are missing out. He's probably he's probably among my top two favorite streamers over here on Big Time, bro, 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 bro. What's up? What's up? All right, so we got so we're running a common. <laughs> we got fifty percent XP. <clears throat> Again, money can't buy time. So what we're going to do is we're going to continue to spin this. And that's exactly what we want to see. Jaya, my friend, you brought the heavenly luck. 
just by saying something on stream, dude, you'll you'll be the only person that I allow that I allow that's able to spam to, to to spam my chat, dude, because you just gave me a hundred XP, my friend. What? Dude, did I break it again? Mom, mom, I broke big time. Dude, did we just lose that? Uh, guys, I think we broke big time again. <laughs> oh, this is freaking epic. How are we breaking big time twice? Oh dear. All right, so what I'm gonna do, guys, is damn it, DC. Where's DC? Where's Dustbuster? He's gotta come fucking clean up his mess. What memory am I at? <laughs> Uh, short-term memory, uh, cause I'm getting a little bit too old, Lang. Uh, do you hit the max? I don't think so, dude. Oh, short-term memory, go, uh, becoming, uh, uh, becoming geriatric, dude. Uh, anyway, I, dude, I think we broke big time, so, and I know that we have a bunch more legendaries to do, so what we're gonna do here is I'm gonna send you guys again back to chat. Uh, and then after that, we'll re-log in again, all right? Sorry about this. This stream is taking a significantly more time uh, than it did previously, just simply because it's uh, uh, big time is not working for me today. So I think that's the second time that we've had to do that over the last uh, one and a half hours. RAM memory. Uh, dude, I, a lot. I, I think I have a lot of RAM memory. I think I'm running on like 32. <laughs> I think I have like 32 gigabytes of RAM. Yeah, I, I'm running. I'm running. I'm running on 32 gigabytes of RAM, and I think yeah, I'm, I'm running a GTX 4080, right? By the way, guys, yesterday I had the opportunity to you know just spend probably about three or four hours going further down the rabbit hole on Web3 Gaming. There are some there's some epic stuff coming up. I mean, there, there's a couple of games that I want to try, you know, even if it's just for fun. And I, I was wondering if you guys want to join that journey with me as well. Um, but one, I, I guess the number one on my hit list right now uh, is Shrapnel. Um, you know, again, I, I, I've heard about the project for a while. They released their... Um, they released their, 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 not mystery boxes, but I, I think they released their packs, yes, uh, a, a couple of days back. Dude, it looks fucking epic. I don't know how many of you guys play FPSs, uh, Shrapnel looks so fucking good. Oh my god. I, I Again, I want the early pass, right? Dude, am I, am I gonna fall into my space? Dude, please make me fall into my space. Sorry guys, I, 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 I forgot to... Uh, you guys didn't keep me honest. I forgot to... Uh, guys, I literally fell directly from server into my space. Sorry that you guys missed that. <laughs> Uh, I think it's shrapnel.com, right? Shrapnel.com. Bally O Porkamita, how you're doing? You're amazing with your factory. You're amazing for saying hello. Thank you so much, my friend. So, fucking stupid uh, is do people with Tourette's have a lot of RAM? <laughs> Sorry, guys, I, I love people with Tourette's, uh, but I also have an extremely twisted sense of humor. Uh, really, you know, again, as long as it's a joke and as long as it's not, um, as long as on a scale of 1 to 10, it doesn't hit like 11 on the offensive scale, I don't really mind. I actually enjoy it. Um, but again, yeah. Uh, yeah, I mean, uh, I'm doing very well, uh, Bail. Dude, how do I pronounce that? Bail, Bailo Porcomida. So Belo, I'm doing very well. I'm doing very, very well at the moment. Uh, just really enjoying the company that you guys are bringing here with me on stream. Again, I do apologize, but I am not your regular streamer or I'm not your ace streamer. Uh, I cannot play the game for squat at this point in time, but what I do know how to do is I know how to look at a game, I know how to see potential, and I know how to see whether or not uh, this has a fighting chance of moving mainstream. And for me at this time being, it really does, right? And, and I really enjoy it. Just make sure that I'm leveling up here. Chat, you guys gotta keep me honest, make sure I'm not being an idiot. Uh, you know, whether that be on chat, be on stream, or, or making sure that I'm, I'm showing you guys everything that you guys should be seeing. Speaking of Tourette's, have you tried? <laughs> I heard that people were upset about the nerf and I heard that they were rebuffing it again. 
And guys, if you want to see gameplay and if you want to see someone that's like ultra super friendly, you guys got to follow Jire, man. I, if you're not following Jire, what are you doing with your life? Um, guys, I, I mean, Jaya is probably the most friendly, most active, uh, and the most helpful big time streamer that I know out there. Uh, I, you know, again, I'm thankful to all of the OGs, right? Uh, but I just really enjoy his streams. Uh, dude, I was literally eating the Nilaga, uh, yesterday, yesterday afternoon while I was watching your stream on my, on my, on my big projector screen in the, in the living room. <laughs> Dude, I'm addicted to Filipino food. I swear to God, if my cholesterol could take it, I would be eating some Lashon today as well. But uh, unfortunately, uh, as you get older, uh, as you get older, uh, the, uh, the cholesterol hits a little harder. <laughs> oh, getting there, getting there, getting there. Let's see, 50 XP, 50 XP. Uh, you should also look at wild card that's made by the founder of age of empire dude There are so many games we need to check out, but I can tell you guys there's my core rotation dude wrong way wrong way guys Guys look at that. That's like the saddest role in the entire world That's the saddest role in the entire history of bonus rolls in big time You get the 50% and after that your quad right is pointing in the opposite direction Dude, that's disgusting <laughs> There we go. There we go. <laughs> no work that forex. Thank you, Arislago. We gotta, we gotta, we gotta keep spinning. We gotta, we gotta lock down the forex to the right, and we gotta keep spinning on the left. <laughs> All right. <clears throat> so, like I said, um, if you guys want to look at gameplay, and if you guys want to understand, um, you know, what's the best way, and you know, I know that Gyre also actually helps people level up. Uh, which is absolutely insane, right? Uh, it's it's such an investment of time and energy. Make sure that you're following his channel, Jire. Dude, feel free to post up your um, feel free to post up your uh, your Twitch channel address down there, and, and maybe if you if you use Twitter, post up your Twitter as well so that people can follow you, my friend. Dude, I will I will be dead weight. I am absolutely dead weight at the moment. I can't even combo correctly. My combos, my com my combos look like I'm like smashing jelly and, and the word smash, uh, you know, in all senses of the word. Um, I, dude, if I combo, if I combo even once in five minutes, uh, I literally hold a rave in my room. <laughs> all right, we got 150, that looks good. That looks good, guys, we're, we're getting there, we're getting there. So as I told chat, you know, again, Previously, when you guys saw me go live, I always talked about 79 Time Wardens. Uh, Mom, I have a problem. I bought another 34 Time Wardens, so we're rocking 113 right now. So 39, sorry. We're rock, we're, so we're, no, 30, 34. So we're rocking 113 Time Wardens at this point in time. Uh, no armories, uh, no armories, no forges, just pure full on over 100 Time Wardens, right? The beautiful thing about it, however, it allows me to hang out with all of you while I do this. Uh, Decent LA, yo, what's going on, bro? Thank you for dropping in in chat. Do, don't you need an employee? Uh, dude, I, I think at the point in time whereby they have the ability, where they have the ability to um, allow people into your space, right? Do 25% less time crystals. Guys, we can do the... Dude, we can we we can do the hundred percent instant time uh, hourglass, don't we? We can because it's green, right? Dude, I think we can. When you're looking at this, we have you. Yeah, we got to get a forex, right? So why don't we, yeah we we that would be free, not instant. Uh, oh yes, it would be free, dude. Do we want a free? Oh, sorry about that. You're absolutely correct, Arosago. Uh, keeping me honest here. Uh, you know, I, I do, do we uh, chat, 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 chat. Uh, do we want a free hourglass? It's not really free because we're going to be spinning the shit out of this, right? Fucking stupid dude, I want to do the insta, dude. <laughs> All right, let's uh, let's hold this here anyway. So we're gonna roll anyway. Let's see if we can get a f dude. It's not really free, right? If I spin five times, it's, it's like I'm paying the same price. Uh, let's roll again, because I, I kind of want a 50. 
Ah, instant only for Forge and Armory though. There we go. That's value. Uh, what was I talking about? Sorry guys, you got me lost in, in chain of thought. Oh, do I need an employee? So look, the thought process behind this is when they are able to allow people who I've allowed in... Oh dude, did we miss them? Chat, you're not keeping me honest here. Chat, we missed a group. Uh, I, got a, I got a spot on my face. We got a green spot on my face. Um, <clears throat> so are we, are we going, to, you know, at the point in time where they allow people into big time, right? Sanctioned people. And there are, they allow me to give certain permissions to different people. I think it makes sense to actually have someone do this uh, rather than myself. I mean, if the factory does get too big. Uh, but then again, I mean, if I had someone doing this, you know, would it be as fun as hanging out with all of you guys and, and being just a total uh, bonus roll DJ, right? <laughs> I don't think so. I think this is going to be much more fun. So, you know, what I'm going to do is most likely for the time being, I'm going to continue to just do this with you guys. I mean, again, at the end of the day, it's, it's a bunch of fun. It's fun to keep updated with the game. Uh, it keeps me honest. Uh, so, yeah, I, I think, you know, for the time being, I, I probably won't. But I mean, when you think about it, uh, you have a hundred, let's, let's just round it up, guys. You got 120 Time Wardens. If you have 120 Time Wardens and you're churning out a hundred and, Jesus Christ, that's a lot of rolling that we got to do. Uh, if we have a hundred and time, 120 Time Wardens uh, and you are churning out 120 common hourglasses every single day, uh, 120 times 12 is, chat? 100, 120 times 12, 1,440. So if we have 1,000, oh dude, we're gonna craft, we're gonna craft another epic here. Uh, one second, let me just level up first. Uh, 1,120 times 12 is 1,440 every two days. Essentially, you know, if, if the market is at, if the market is at uh, $12, right, for the common hourglass. Guys, what is the, what is the price for, uh, what is the price for our hourglass at the moment? So 1,440 divided by two is 720. It's essentially $720 a day, right? $720 a day. Uh, if it's 700 and, dude, we got we to gotta roll good on this one, by the way. It's an epic hourglass. Um, but let me just bring up a calculator. One second, calculator. Sorry guys, I'm not putting my calculator on screen, but uh, 700 times uh, a day times 365. That's two hundred sixty-two thousand eight hundred dollars divided by, you know, what what did I put into it? You know, half a million dollars. Dude, that's a fifty percent yield, and you know, I've been very honest with the group. You know, in terms of real estate, if you can even get if you can even get like five percent yield, uh, in most markets, you're doing extremely well. But to think that you can get like fifty fifty two percent yield on a on a video game, that's freaking insane, dude. San Santi, welcome to the chat, my friend. Uh, yes, we are. We are trying to make it to the Unique Hourglass. I am running about 113 Time Wardens at the moment. Uh, it is going to be a journey. So if this is something that interests you, you want to hang out with a couple of cool people, you want to talk about big time, talk about the economics, feel free to stay. Uh, absolutely love having all of you guys here. Penny Bags Jr. Uh, Pennybags Jr., welcome to the follow, my friend. Thank you for joining me in chat. Again, I, I appreciate each and every single one of you. Uh, we're just having a hoot of a time here. So, you know, I keep saying this, but every single time I get on stream, I, I keep going, wow, this stream is going for a lot longer than I thought it would. <laughs> <laughs> I think the happiest people in the group right now are like laying, right? Because whenever I don't want, to, whenever I don't want to stream in the morning, uh, uh, or or in the or in the daytime session for my time, Lang is like, but I don't, I won't have anything to do. <laughs> All right, let's do this. One, two, three, four, five. We're gonna craft a uncommon hourglass, and this is the way it should be. So, and after that, we're gonna roll. Anyway, guys, so, you know, one of the things, one of the developments that has happened since yesterday is that I bought a... Yeah, yeah. Dude, guys, someone clip that. You gotta clip that. You gotta clip that. Someone's gotta clip that. Damn, that's a free hourglass. <laughs> Damn, son. Dude, that is freaking amazing. 
Dude, two rolls, two rolls. Zykov, Zykov has two rolls, my friend. All right, let's see. Uh, how does this work? <laughs> All right, guys, that was totally free. On top of being the fact that it was totally free, it was only a common. It wasn't even a common, it was an uncommon. Oh, dude, that's freaking, that's freaking epic. Guys, you're bringing in the luck. Thank you so much. Blow my dice. <laughs> Arrow's logo. Dude, do you think that that's the very first... Dude, we're going to do a lot of firsts here. But do you think that that's the very first hour, free hour, free hourglass on stream? Or have you guys seen someone else do it? Dude, love you guys so much. Big heart, big heart. Big love. Dude, that was freaking amazing. Oh man, that made my day. That absolutely made my day. Not because not because we really needed it, um, but simply because, you know, it's fun doing stuff that you haven't seen done before. Just some mod chips. Yep, just some mod chips. 40 mod chips. And 40 mod chips is, wow. Uh, it wasn't that much at all. <laughs> Chat, love you guys. Oh my god. Love you guys so much. XP. 10 XP. Uh, we're gonna lock down the 50. Yeah, again, I, I think the main thing here is... Dude, quad, quad, quad. XP. Uh, so, do something good. Good. No. Do something good. <laughs> Let's try this again. XP, XP, XP. Dude, I, dude, this hates me, man. <laughs> oh, there you go. Well worth it. Chat, the reason why I'm so hung up on getting the XP, I, I mean, I, I hope you guys understand, right? Because, you know, it takes, it takes two days, right? It takes two days now just to craft a common hourglass, right? Uh, if you're taking two days to craft an hourglass and you're not getting that 50 XP, uh, essentially, again, you're, you're, you're probably wasting about eight hours, right? Uh, that's the main reason. That's the main reason why I'm so hyped about the rolls, right? Uh, as much as I like to joke about, you know, gambling, you know, again, gambling is a serious problem. Uh, if you do know uh, PSA, if you do know anybody, make sure that they do get help. Uh, but the main reason why I'm so again, hung up on making sure I get this XP stat is because uh, I can get, or my, my Time Wardens can get two days worth of work done, uh, or four days worth of work of XP using two days, right? I'm essentially saving two days here. So Big Time doesn't seem like Big Time wants to publish any sort of percent chances other than mystery boxes because they prob are probably obliged to. Yeah, I, I agree with you, but you know, in, in the case of this, they're obliged to do that as well. Anything that pertains to Game of Chance and there is a uh, investment or there is a some form of payment, you are obliged to release uh, these statistics, right? You know, in terms of like the big time leaderboard, where they're not releasing the um, where they're not releasing the, uh, the algorithm that they're using for the different types uh, of activity that you do, uh, they are not obliged to release it simply because you know there's there's no game of chance, right? Uh, there's no game of chance there. But you know they are, and I hope you know again if if anyone from big time is listening into this, uh, I want you guys to do well, but in any game of chance where it requires any form of payment whatsoever, you are obliged to release, uh, you are obliged to release uh, the probabilities, right? In terms of marbles, guys, uh, again, you know, while it is a game of chance, you know, there is an element of controllability. Uh, if you guys don't know how to play marbles, make sure you guys get, get chalked up uh, and understand how to do that because we're gonna be doing that on Friday. Uh, but, you know, I'm not smart enough to calculate what the game of chance is for Marbles, but I'm sure Marbles does release that uh, on their own website. So, dude, nice. Thank you so much for the luck, guys. Uh, let's reroll this. Because uh, no one knows the percent chances of NFT drops in dungeons, for example. So I think they're obliged to release the percent chance of NFT drops in a in a prestige portal, right? A prestige portal, basically you are going to need to, um, you are going to need to release that information because people are paying to go in. 
Aras Lago, dude, you gotta talk more in chat. I mean, every time you speak, I get I get like amazing drops, my friend. Thank you so much. <laughs> we got 150. There we go. So. Anyway, because for prestige portals, essentially there is some form of payment, especially in the big time currency. Uh, at some point in time, they will be obliged to uh, release the um, release the probability values for that. You know, just from a legal standpoint. Uh, so it's not even about skill based, right? It's if there is payment and if there's an element of chance, right? If there is even a single element of chance, uh, you need to release the. Um, you need to release the probabilities. I mean, if you're treading on because it's skill based, uh, you know the drops are the drops are RNG based, right? Uh, a court of law would not look at it uh, in terms of is there a significant amount of chance. The court of law looks at things like this in terms of is there any element of chance, right? So, guys, if anyone from Big Time is watching, you know. Uh, you can, you can thank the chat later for bringing up the topic, but you know again that's something that they are going to need to delve further into because it can cause a lot of issues later on, right? You know I, I you know that the U.S. is a very frivolous country uh, when it comes to lawsuits, so you know it's very very important. Uh, it's very very important that uh, you buckle you buckle your shoes and you tie your shoelaces. Penny Bags Jr. with the lightning music, dude. Thank you so much for chatting in chat again. Guys, don't feel shy, you know, really don't feel shy. Uh, we're gonna take it, uh, but don't feel shy. Uh, the shark, you know, even though I'm well D shark, right? Uh, the shark in me doesn't bite, you know, even if it's just to drop a message in chat and say hello, uh, please do so. I'll always give you guys a shout out. You know, we're at a point in time uh, where, you know, my following isn't the same as, uh, you know, how hectic it was over during the NFT bull run, right? So, you know, it gives me an opportunity to get to know all of you and, and to become friends with all of you, um, you know, while my chat is relatively clean, right? All right, we're gonna do a rare on a mythic Time Warden with in crafting a rare hourglass. So we're definitely gonna wanna have something good for this, guys. Alan, yeah, I think I think they don't have to. They actually do need to do it. They do need to do it, regardless of whether you are not fully launched or not fully launched. As long as you are taking payments, um, you know, you, you probably do need to do that, right? You probably do need to do that. <laughs> it's like I'm go go go. Cyber Devil zero zero nine. What's up, bro? Welcome to the chat. So we're gonna lock in the fifty percent, and we're gonna kick the ten minutes more right out the window. Alan, so I, I think they still need to do it, right? I, I think, you know, my... Guys, simply because this is such a high stakes craft, uh, you know, we really want to go for like 50-50. Uh, you know, I, I whenever I do any sort of business whatsoever, guys, you guys are going to hate me. For those of you guys who actually craft to use, you guys are going to hate this. But uh, yeah, 120 minutes more is, is, is that, that's a waste. And I hope, you know, we can roll some of the user ones and I hope one of you guys gets 120 more. Dude, this is not working. My bonus roll machine is broken, chat. Let's see here. We're getting there. All right. So I think 60 XP is the most that we're gonna get. And again, it's not shabby, right? At least we got at least we got 150. Langa, dude, I had no idea that there were gonna be so many time wardens to do today. <laughs> As you guys might know, the very first time that I do check my time wardens is on my. If I'm streaming in the, if I'm streaming in my daytime, it's really this 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 point in time right over here. Uh, if not, it's usually once I get up and I and I do some and I do some work while I'm checking the time wardens. Um, you know, the, the second time I check it is probably during the afternoon evening, uh, and after that, the third time I check it is most likely. Uh, late at night before I go to sleep, right? Or 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 during stream when I'm streaming with you guys uh, in some of those programs. So <clears throat> while I would love to say that my original thought process is that I really was going to create this amazing sweatshop, 50% is good. Let's keep going. You know, while I would like to say that I wish that I had uh, continued to keep this amazing sweatshop, that, that's like, dude, yeah, yes, <laughs> nice. <laughs> So as much as I would like to say uh, that, you know, I have this totally efficient, it's running on all the time, you know, there is some waste, right? There is some waste. Uh, 
uh, and I wouldn't call it waste, right? The way that I justify the waste is, um, is I get to hang out and chill out with you guys and, you know, we get to answer questions. We get to have fun looking at the bonus rolls. Uh, we get to take a look at all this cool shit that's going on, right? So that's actually one of the main reasons why I launched my Twitch channel, uh, simply because it allows me to hang out with all of you, uh, a bunch of cool people, and, you know, just trying to get things sorted out. Just going to chat again. Uh, let me see here. Zykov, I, uh, Zykov, I wish that they knew I knew what the algorithm was. Again, I'm as much as a beneficiary, as much as a victim of RNG as the rest of you are. Now, am I hyped up or am I aggressive uh, to understand? You know, what is this? Uh, what are the algorithms? Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm curious. Uh, but would it change the things that I'm doing right now? Probably not, right? I am I, I am too old to be angry. By the way, chat, have any of you dropped by the big time Discord and decided to spend like five minutes in general? <laughs> have any of you guys done that? Oh. <laughs> uh, it was... It, uh, Again, you know, barring the the productive comments in com in oh, dude, beautiful, hundred percent XP. Barring the comments, you know, that are constructive and and uh, and 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 uh, constructive to the project, right? It's like a fucking dumpster fire, dude. <laughs> it's like a freaking dumpster fire. Oh my god, I'm like, it's like. Everyone in there is claiming to be like a, a, lar a, a large and an early investor in big time. They're angry and they're not even playing, dude. Some of those. I understand the comments from those who are actually playing. Uh, I understand from those who are actually playing the game and they're and they're like they're like flaming throughout flaming throughout general. But for those who are like just holding assets and flaming at the team for no reason. <laughs> Those are all the reasons why I left NFT land and I refuse to be called a citizen of NFT land anymore. Nightmare dude, I swear to God, I go into some of these projects and it's like, it's like degen language up the wazoo. The reason why, so look, the other reason why I decided to ditch 90, 93,000 organic followers on Twitter, uh, you know, given the fact that, you know, there was a small minority that are really nice, really supportive, and I really enjoy engaging with, uh, one of the core reasons was that it just got disgusting, right? 100%, there we go. It just got utterly and totally disgusting, right? Uh, people were not about the games, they were not about the project, they were not about the utility, they were just asking, you know, when are my bags pumping? Dude, I, I mean, I mean, Jesus Christ! If you're gonna, if you're gonna, if you're gonna participate largely in a project, then support the project, right? Help them constructively. Radio, radio is asking. You should check Chinese chat big time. Everyone is complaining about the token drop. <laughs> radio, uh, are you Chinese? Chinese people are just trying to earn money, right? But what so? But what I'm gonna say is uh, we have a we have a saying in Chinese which is uh, which basically means uh, make sure that you be a good person first before you actually do business. <laughs> Radio, then you and I are actually very close, my friend. I actually I actually speak. Um, I actually speak English, Chinese, Japanese, and Korean, uh, but I do spend a lot of time. I do spend a lot of time in Chinese-speaking countries. Uh, the last time I went to Japan was probably sometime, uh, I want to say sometime last year, and I, and I haven't been to uh, Korea in quite a long time. <laughs> Triple adjacent, guys. So I think the main thing, again, is, is you know, at the end of the day, and I, 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 we, we spoke about this early on in the stream, it's wonderful that you're able to eke out a living, you know, by playing the game, by claiming the big time leaderboard and everything like that. But at the end of the day, understand a game is a game, you know, you know, whether that is, you know, from a from a playtime perspective or whether that be from a longevity perspective, you know, it's hard to imagine that. Oh, dude, no, but I, I, I don't want crystals. Uh, you know, it, it's hard to imagine. Um, 
it's really hard to imagine, you know, the game, you know, I, I, I hope it can, right? Because, because uh, you know, all of us will benefit from it. But, you know, in 30 years time, is anyone really going to be talking about big time? Is anyone really going to be talking about World of Warcraft? You know, don't lose your shirt on something where, you know, there you go, 150. Thank you, chat. Uh, you know, we don't want to get in at a point where you're going to lose your shirt over a game, right? Again, is there a significant amount of promise to this game uh, for the next NFT bull run? Absolutely. You know, do I think gaming is going to lead the charge in the next NFT bull run? Absolutely as well, right? If, if, if anything at all, this has a chance given its pedigree, given the widespread knowledge of it. And, you know, if you do look at Twitch, right, from a channel perspective, you know, I know that we are down from the highs that we saw in terms of Twitch viewer count probably about two weeks ago. Uh, you know, it is still the most streamed Web3 game, right? Second being Gods Unchained, which I am hesitant to stream because I'm so fucking terrible at it. Uh, love the game, love the mechanics, love the thought process, but get absolutely wrecked in TCGs. Bring out the mythics, guys. So for those of you guys who do play, uh, who do play uh, Gods Unchained, uh, the whale, com the whale member project actually owns two of the three initial Genesis mythics, and we have not brought them out of the closet yet. Uh, could be interesting. Could be interesting when the hype cycle comes. Daikal says, "I believe I want people to not work. Uh, I believe I want people to not work for grocery stores and play games instead." Uh, guys, it's happening already, right? Uh, I'm fortunate enough to be a part of many different industries and one of the industries that I have been in uh, but recently exited was the AI industry. You know, for those of you guys listening out there, the, what, the concept of work and what we do is going to change extremely vastly uh, over, the next, over the next 10 years. Uh, because, I mean, if you go to your grocery store today and you can see it slowly happening, right? The majority of cashier lines are actually being reduced to um, to self checkout, right? Uh, I was in the UK for a bit uh, earlier last month. You know, when I went to Waitrose or when I went to Tesco or when I went to Sainsbury's, uh, every single and guys, keep me. Oh, did I go the right, wrong direction? Uh, guys, keep me honest to make sure that I'm not missing out any of these time wardens. Um, you know, everything is going to be AI based, right? When you talk about bureau bureaucratic jobs like paperwork and banking and analytical investing, you know, it's not possible for a human being to consider the amount of factors that are uh, required, right, to make a to make a solid investment. Now, I know that is not the way that ChatGPT is used at the moment. But honestly speaking, I mean, you probably have a bajillion people who are building out their own AI models and using that for trading, right? You already have bot trading, right? So honestly speaking, I think the concept of work is going to change quite a bit. It's going to change quite a bit. And, you know, for those of you guys who have children, you know, is it as important? Oh, we missed one over there. Is it as important now, uh, you know, to be able to do uh to be able to do complex maths right um you know unless you want to be a professor right unless you want to be a professor uh probably not i mean is it important to understand how to do maths yes because it builds up your logical thought process within your brain uh but oh no i, I gotta level up first uh but is it is it essential that you know again a, a phd or an mba is is directly related to your success as a business person Absolutely not. And I think that uh, different aspects of education are going to be significantly more important uh, 10 years down the road than what we believe or what the boomer generation believed or what my generation believed uh, to be important in the future. <laughs> like I say, uh, I will not touch a self-checkout until they change the law on that. Uh, that is correct. That is correct. That is correct. But I do not go to a self-checkout uh, I don't go to the self checkout and wear a top hat, so you know I'm 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 pretty much okay with that, dude. AI bots cleaning the stores, right? I uh, dude. I, I mean, honestly, I mean, there's AI bots cleaning the store, and at the same time, if you attach a camera to the um, when you attach a camera to the AI cleaning bots, essentially they're able to scan the shelves at the same time and generate a planogram, right? I know, I know, I know that. Uh, <laughs> I know that Nightmare is going to appreciate that comment. Uh, for those of you guys who don't know what I'm talking about, 
a planigram is essentially uh, the way that stores determine uh, what object and what grocery item to place where. So every single store has a shelf set and they have a planigram which basically tells people where to place those items. Uh, and you know, I wouldn't be surprised in the future when you have, you know, the robots that they can currently clean, they're already using them, you know, from a visual, you know, uh, from a visual recognition perspective. And then further on, uh, you know, you add a, you add a, you add a basket behind and, and an arm and all of a sudden it's doing shelf picking, right? Guys, that was freaking epic. So in a mythic, we just crafted a rare and we got 100%. So guys, I mean, the main point that I'm trying to tell you, especially if you're young at this point in time, or if you have young children, uh, you guys really do need to think about the future and understand uh, what that... F oh, dude, we have another one. Dude, how are all these cropping up? Uh, you know, you guys need to understand what the future looks like. And if you don't prepare your children for the future, right, the future economy, you know, they're going to be a sheep like everyone else, right? Sheep. Guys, I know that the, the microphone doesn't uh, pronounce my P's as well. S-H-E-E-P, just for clarification. <laughs> I am not calling young children, young children the other word, right? Um, but yeah, I, I think... Oh, one second here. Why am we not... Why does it say it's items available? Oh, there we go. Yeah, I mean, uh, th there's, there's a bunch of different professions that I think are, are, are going to be important moving forward. <clears throat> <laughs> guys first spin first spin 100 percent. there we go there we go 100 percent. so for those of you guys who aren't following me yet my name is whale d shark uh previous known as whale shark or whale shark eef uh now always known as whale d shark uh, what does the D stand for? It is paying homage to one of my favorite animes and the longest and most popular anime of all time, uh, One Piece. So it's, it's, it's a play on Monkey D. Luffy. Uh, but if you guys want, you guys can convert that D to Daddy. Uh, let's just keep going here. Uh, I think this is the last one that we have. I tend to stream probably once or twice a day. I stream once about 12 p.m. plus 8 GMT. And I stream another time anywhere between 6 to 8 p.m. plus 8 GMT. I'm running three, I'm running three uh, different programmings at the moment. This is the very first, first program uh, that I created, which is called Journey to the Unique Hourglass. I have a hundred, I have over a hundred different time wardens. And what we're doing right now is we are trying to make sure uh, that we are first to the unique, right? So that's the first thing that I do. The second thing that I do is I smoke cracked hourglasses, right? So one of the things we'll probably do later on is uh, we might actually use one of the Time Wardens to XP up. Uh, uh, sorry, one of the cracked hour, uh, Time Wardens to XP up through Cracked Hourglass Crafting. The third one that I do that's going to be a lot more interesting, and guys, stay tuned for a YouTube video. I'm trying to work on something, uh, is basically the journey to the, uh, sorry, it is the big experiment, which is short form for the uh, the economic, ex the big time economic experiment where we took $5,000, uh, we created a class, a classroom garden of our, of, of time wardens. And we're trying to see, you know, what is the process to move from a $5,000 investment to $1,000 in revenue every single week. So that got about 400 views since launch two days ago. If you're interested in seeing me get off my high horse and actually do things, the way that average Joe would. Uh, feel free to tune in for that. All right, let's see where we're going. I think the last thing that I wanted to check was how many cracked hourglasses I have before I end off stream. We were, dude, we're approaching two hours. Guys, thank you so much for keeping me company. You know, again, I very much enjoy chatting with all of you. I appreciate each and every one of you. Uh, you know, it doesn't hurt if you guys do want to have a different perspective on big time. If you do want to see some different gameplay, uh, other oh dude we missed one over there if you guys do want to see some different gameplay other than the hack and slash uh, that you guys are seeing mainly on the channel right now feel free to follow me uh, at the same time if you do want uh, if if you are able to 
Uh, I do appreciate all subscribers that do come in, and I do have a bunch of different subscriber rewards uh, that I've tried to put forth to make it worth your while. One of the main things that we just launched yesterday is that I bought a total of 10, of, sorry, five time wardens. Uh, and after that, uh, basically that is linked to my throne room where I will be crafting hourglasses for giveaway, right? Uh, essentially the way that this hourglass giveaway is going to be is going to be mainly sub only so mainly subscribers only and we are going to do it by turning the chat subscriber chat only and allowing them to play a game of marbles in addition to that however if you can't afford to sub you know don't sweat it uh, I appreciate you all the same and equally as much uh, but what you guys can do is uh, during those followers we will have a follower only uh, why don't we do that? We will have a follower-only uh, marbles game where people are able to earn a, uh, a common hourglass as well. So I will literally give those NFTs out to people. Uh, haven't seen it being done yet. Now, given that, uh, and I did repeat this in the beginning of the stream, I do need to let you guys know that none of these prizes and none of these promotions are being sponsored by Open Loot, Big Time, or Twitch. They are slowly, they are solely uh, sponsored by myself. Uh, and personally by myself. At the same time, I also do need to reiterate that I am not streaming from the United States and you know, all activities on stream are governed by the jurisdiction of where I am streaming from. Sorry guys, that was quite a mouthful. We're gonna lock in the 50% and we're gonna see for the 10%. Out. We're gonna look at the 10%. We're gonna try lock in the additional 50%. Fucking stupid, dude, I appreciate your handle because it allows me to swear on stream, but even more so, I appreciate all your contributions in chat, my friend. Daddy Shark. Dude, I should, I should actually make you guys use your Amber Grease uh, to, 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 to make me play the, uh, the Baby Shark tune. <laughs> I think you guys would like that. <laughs> Guys, I believe this is the final spin. Uh, I know, you know, we kept running and we and we kept missing out on this stuff, but uh, this is this should be the final spin, uh, and we are gonna see what we get here. Oh, we also need to buy some more chips, so we'll buy some more chips as well. God no! <laughs> I gotta bring Nightmare on stream at some point in time. You guys will absolutely love him. Fucker has like a void golden voice made for radio, not the squeaky one that I have. Uh. <laughs> Zykov, I will, I will, uh, I will voice actor, um, uh, let's see, I, I, I will, I will voice actor the dinosaur if they want. <laughs> it would be like R-A-W-R, -R, roar, right? <laughs> oh, that's the only thing I'm good at, voice acting, dude. <laughs> I've never voice acted in my life. <laughs> Jesus Christ, this RNG, this RNG stin just doesn't want to let me go. Roar! Dude, dude, Arrows Lago, dude, you gotta capitalize that shit. I gotta get, I gotta, I gotta get somebody to make me a uh, emote so that you guys can have a Roar emote. Guys, sorry, this spin just doesn't want to let us go, so we're gonna take whatever we get. Uh, and after that, we're gonna run to start, and I just want to check how many cracked hourglasses I have. Dude, that's so... I, 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 dude, I just, I, I can't, I can't, I can't exit on like a, on, on, on like a 10 minute, right? There we go, 50%, persistence paid off. Uh, big time, I, I know, big time studios, I know you appreciate taking like $20 from me. Oh, Jesus Christ. I will either, I will either be the dinosaur, or I'll be that stupid robot with the, with the, uh, with the stringy hands. Uh, chat, you can, you can correct my terminology, but, uh, uh, from now on it's called the stupid robot with the string, uh, the stupid frog with the stringy hands. Which one is that? Guys, what do you call those? I used to hate those. It used to be like instant death for me. <laughs> Zykov, I cannot be the narrator. I, no, I, I could be the narrator. The only, the only thing I can narrate is, uh, uh, is, is when, is when the server goes down and everybody drops out. Uh, I'll narrate that piece. <laughs> I'll do the, I'll do the, uh, wah, 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 wah. I'll do the down Debbie sound for you guys. I haven't used it yet. I, I mean, I've been so busy with trying to craft programming for you guys uh, that I haven't really jumped in the game yet. 
Uh, I've warned them. So I've warned them. Uh, you guys can see it over here. So uh, Noobs was fantastic enough to give me a pair of unique pants. I'm just like honored by this because again, as you guys can see, I'm like running like shit gear. Uh, but anyway, he was kind enough to give me a T2 unique pants and apparently they have jumping. Uh, I just don't know how to equip the skill set yet. Uh, so that's something that we can probably do. Uh, I have a jump. Put it, uh, move the foot to hop bar. Uh, the foot. Uh, dude, where's my foot? Look, this foot? Like this? Uh, in the right side. Let me see here. Oh, abilities. Oh, over here, right? Oh, there we go. Thank you, chat. All right, it's cool. So we can put that over here. Should I see what it does? Dude, I haven't used it yet. Uh, hold on one second. This looks freaking amazing, by the way. Thank you so much to... Oh, wow, dude, that's fucking epic. Dude, that's gonna reduce. That's gonna reduce my. Uh, that's gonna reduce my crafting time by quite a bit. Huge shout out to undisputed noobs and the chat for helping me equip them. Uh, so essentially, what essentially, if you guys aren't following undisputed noobs, make sure you do so. He brings a lot to the table. I mean, I've seen the guy not only do streams. I've seen the guy not only do YouTube videos. I've also seen the guy firefight in general a big time. And you know, that's a dumpster fire sometimes that I wouldn't even want to be in, right? Dude, we can we dude we can rush around the factory now, dude. That's freaking epic. Oh, well, I, I think I I think I did something else. Anyway, <laughs> anyway, uh, let's get let's get out. We're we're definitely going on like two hours now. So this is what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna check cracked hourglasses real quick, and then after that we will end the we'll, we'll Oh, sorry, this is my space. Uh, collection. That that will end stream. I am going to stream in about another six hours, right? So I'll take a short break. I'll get to some IRL stuff. Um, as you guys know, I'm not only a businessman uh, in big time. I'm also a businessman uh, in real life. So I have some business to do uh, in a tiny bit. But yeah, I think why don't we at some point in time use a Transcendent Time Warden. We will break this all down, uh, not for the big time token, but just so that I can get a heads up and a lead start um, on the experience. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43. Dude, I, sorry, I, I can't count anymore. Um, <laughs> uh, I, I, I think we have roughly about yeah, accurate maps. Uh, I think, I think so. I'm about halfway there. I'm about 40% there. Let's do, dude, dude, fuck accurate maths. Let's do like smart maths, right? Uh, so there's, there are seven per row. I think I counted 30 uh, and I was not halfway there yet. So I think we are at 50 would be midway there. So let's count 100 down. So we have 700 fucking cracked hourglasses to break, dude. Dude, that's like a 10 hour stream, man. <laughs> uh... <laughs> he down gave me saying, holy hell, oh well. Uh, I want to give a huge shout out to Mick Mio. Thank you so much for the follow, my friends. If you're not following me right now, I would very much appreciate it. Again, it's all for the growth of the channel, the growth of the community. Uh, if you do have the means to sub, again, always appreciate a nice sub uh, so that I can give back more to all of you. Now, having finished Smart Maths, um, you know, Will D Shark Maths, uh, you know, I am going to end the stream. It's been a real pleasure. This has probably been the most fun stream that I've had uh, since launching this, right? It's been a lot of interaction with me and you. Uh, again, you know, don't feel shy. I'm more whale than shark. I don't bite. Uh, so, you know, even if it means that you want to spam emo emotes in the, in the stream or if you want, just want to say hello, you know, feel free to do so. I'll always give you a shout out if I see it. Again, sometimes when we do get a little bit busy with uh, trying to rack up all of those hourglasses, we do move into some form of, uh, of a trance, right? But I will always come back to chat. That's right on a screen next to my side, and I'll make sure I'll try to answer all the questions that you do have. Last question from Aras Lago. Dude, thank you so much for being such a critical part of not only the stream, but this channel, dude. Very much appreciated. Um, I think I have a total of 127 spaces. 
So I have 127 spaces that I'm using. I have a total of another, Will Shark Maths. Um, I think I have WS Maths. I think I have another maybe 50 spaces that I've rented out. So I think I have a total of maybe 177 spaces in total. Um, you know, that's, that's, uh, that's, 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 that's basically what's happening. Zykov saying, uh, it's all a joke, cracked hourglass speed potions, huge bet. <laughs> oh, guys. Uh, oh, there you go. Friends unite. Meet me seeing Zykovs again. I, I think it's wonderful that, you know, again, we're all following great streamers within the big time space. You know, when they, when they make it big, you know, it's, it's going to be a wonderful situation for all of us. Um, as we get things done. So guys, again, I'm gonna I'm gonna move to close out the stream. I've really enjoyed each and every one of you. If you didn't say hello this time, make sure you say hello next time. Uh, I would absolutely love to get to know each and every one of you because you guys are important to this channel. You're important to me uh, and you're important to all of my mods, right? So take care guys, have a wonderful, guy, a wonderful day and I will see all of you in six hours for our very, very, very big experiment. Thanks everyone.